All right, so at this point, what I want to talk about then is adding uh, this social media plugin. Nowadays, uh, basically, it's a given that you have a website. A few years ago, the question was, do you have a website? Now, it's basically the most basic requirement. You need a website. Well, the next question is coming up, that's coming up more often now, is what's your Facebook? Or what's your Twitter? Or what's your Pinterest? Depending on your type of business, you may want to be you might want to have a social media presence. So in my example site, notice it's my personal one, but I've got uh, social media presences on all of these and I'm posting something on Instagram or I'm posting a video on YouTube or I'm posting some music on SoundCloud. Well, a little bit more um, a little bit more realistic for, a, for, for, for yourself or for a particular client, uh, most clients, is that you've got some presence up on Facebook, at least. And as soon as this loads up, Facebook and Twitter. Those would be the big two that I would say you want for your own business. At the minimum, Facebook, because everyone else is on Facebook. But to properly use it, there's going to be a class that I teach next month, next week, uh, about using social media for your business. So I'll come back to that in a bit. But this particular client has Facebook, Twitter, Google+, YouTube, and Instagram. Uh, so I want my website to have something like that, that it shows off the social media icons that I have set up. This, again, is a client that's got a, uh, a WordPress site. And these are widgets up here with its own widget sidebars and all of that. Let me see this one over here. This is another client. This is a this is a band. They've got a WordPress site as well, different sort of style. On theirs, it says connect to us. And notice the big icons there. Subscribe to our newsletter. That's another type of uh, plugin. So plugins are the things that expand the capabilities of your built-in WordPress, things that are not, that don't come out of the box. Uh, so I want to add, notice there's a little animation. Depends on the plugin as well. But I'm going to talk to you about adding a, a social media plugin. There's a bunch of them out there. Most of them, if you've already heard of one before, keep using it. Uh, I'm going to show you the one I've used, and you can decide if you like it or not. So plugins. Widgets usually come from a plugin. And remember, a plugin is something that extends the capabilities of WordPress, and usually a widget is something visible to the user. So let's hover over plugins and select add new plugin. So add a new, and this is what the new um, WordPress 4.0 screen was telling us earlier, that the plugins screen, when it comes up, should be, uh, should be the new 4.0 marketplace. Has yours come up yet? No. All right, just wait a bit more. Let's just wait a bit more. Eventually, we should get a screen that says Add Plugins. <laughs> Most likely, what's slow is the WordPress marketplace. We're all connecting to it and all over the world at the same time. Just keep waiting one more moment. All right, did anyone get a big old error message like me? Yeah. Okay, so we broke WordPress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna click refresh here. Worst case scenario is that it doesn't uh, it, that it doesn't load up, and then I'll just show you how it looks like once it's once it's installed. 
let's try to refresh up here and, and see if it works one more time. Mine says browse, but I think it's a wrong spot. No, uh, it should be good if it says something about add plugins and featured and such. Let's see if mine decides to load up. Can you just click on the upload plugin? We're not going to upload a plugin. No. You have a plugin in the zip format, you can install it by uploading the plugin. Yep, we don't have that, so we won't click that. Well, let's try this. What's supposed to happen here, you get a nice little preview of a bunch of featured plugins. So here it'll show you perhaps you want Jetpack, Perhaps you want duplicator. Perhaps you want this. For some reason, uh, it's not quite working. And remember, they've gone from 4.0, so they've changed a lot of their infrastructure. And perhaps some of the bugs need to be worked out. So mine is not quite working here. If you see this screen, good. If yours is still only saying add plugin, upload a plugin, just wait, keep waiting a moment. Uh, and eventually, hopefully, you get something that looks like this. What I want anyway is, let's see if this works. Uh, we've got featured, popular, favorites, and on the right side, mine says search plugins. If yours says search plugins, do this. If not, just keep waiting. Under search plugins, I'm going to search for one called social media widget. And these are a dime a dozen. Every every plugin author is going to give you some sort of social media widget. These are so popular. Uh, I'll show you the one that I recommend in a moment. But uh, type social media widget and let's see what happens. Press enter. At the top left, Chrome is showing that it's thinking. So if you've got that little spinning worm, it's going to eventually possibly show you results. <coughs> yes, so most likely WordPress is not working. The WordPress server so uh, for some reason it's not working. I'm not going to be able to show you exactly what I wanted to talk about, but instead I'm going to show you another. I'm going to show you another another aspect of it. I'm going to show you how it looks like once I've got it set up. So I'm not going to be able to show you how to install it, but imagine that we searched for the plugin. It's going to show you a big list of plugins, and specifically the one that we want. We'll say that it was made by the company. Uh, blink web effects because you're gonna see a big list of of social media plugins by this company and that company and this company so the one that I'm recommending the what I'm the one that I've used the one that I is used on my blog the one that has all those icons <coughs> is from the company blink web effects once you find it you're gonna have a button somewhere that says install plugin <laughs> Once it gets installed, there will be another button that then you should click that says Activate. Activate Plugin. So, um, let me log into my site and show you how it looks like. So just bear with me one moment. All right, so um, let's say that I'm over 
let's do this. Over on your screen, go to Installed Plugins under Plugins. We've seen this screen before. This lists all the plugins you've currently got installed. So imagine that we that we installed this social media widget by Blink Web Effects. This is how it looks like on mine. Social media widget by Blink Web Effects. Add links to all your social media and sharing site profiles. Tons of icons come in three sizes, four icon styles, and four animations. So the thing about uh, installing any new plugin, I believe I've mentioned, is that it sometimes you don't know where did they get installed. And I told you previously that you're going to see all your installed plugins in this screen. Where do you actually work with them? Sometimes you're going to see settings in the screen. Sometimes you're going to see the plugin install itself in a separate item like up here. So sometimes there will be settings right in the plugin screen. Sometimes there will be an item in the sidebar. Sometimes there will be an item in the settings menu item. And then sometimes in the tools. So it's kind of annoying. OK, I install these. these um, social media icons, but where are they at? Uh, I would always recommend, if you can't quite find it in these usual locations, view the details, and I'm sure there's going to be a frequently asked questions <coughs> or a little manual or something. This particular widget, this particular plugin works because it's a widget. So let's go back to, well, I'll show you because you don't have it, but under Appearance Widgets, I have a widget because now I've been able to install it called Social Media Widget. And that is going to be the same as we've seen before, that you drag it over. Yes. So you drag it over and then uh, we'll, we'll see about using it. So let's see if this works. Try again if you want to add a new plugin. Let's give it a try. Let's go back to Plugins, Add New. If it worked, then you should see this preview about these featured plugins. Do you see that now? All right, let's give it a try. Hopefully, we don't break it again. So under Add New, we're looking under Featured, OK, whatever. Now get to your search. <coughs> your search uh, box right here and search for social media widget. And there's only one by Blink Web Effects. What was the question? There's only one by Blink Web Effects. That was the first one that came up. That's good. Uh, I do see other ones like MSIT social media widget plugin and floating social media icon and social media by Acurax. That's why I'm saying that there's so many plugins out there. Everyone's got a plugin. And um, you can see by their star ratings. I like how they updated this. When we were looking at it a couple of weeks ago, you could see the star ratings. And then when you hovered over the star, it would tell you how many ratings. Now the number of ratings is right next to the star. I can see that's got a perfect five-star ratings by the author's mother. <laughs> and this one's got four out of 233. This one's got four and a half out of 96. This one's got 1 1.2 million downloads. This one has 124,000 downloads. So Accurax is another one I've used, but I kind of still like Social Media Widget a little bit more, although it has not been updated in a year. Accurax was updated a week ago. It's been untested in the latest WordPress. So this helps you to decide what's the right plugin to, to install. 
Anyway, uh, you should see Social Media Widget by Blink Effects. Click Install now. <coughs> it might ask you, are you sure you want to install? Click OK. It's going to connect to WordPress.org, download the file, unzip it, install it, and then remember, activate it. Activate the plugin, and as I said, once it takes you back to this plugins screen, there's no settings here. I don't see any settings. I don't see it added to the menu anywhere here. It adds itself to the widgets screen. So, as, as, as I was uh, saying to uh, a student earlier today, uh, when I, uh, my company gets hired uh, to work on an existing WordPress site, we always have to uh, put in an, uh, some time of what we call discovery, in that we look at the person's existing site and go in screen by screen and look at every plugin and look at everything installed so that we get a sense of how the site is set up. Because something like this, if I had never used Social Media Widget, now I have to figure out where is this installed, where is it active, what does it even do? So I always have to do a discovery phase when working with a brand new client that has an existing WordPress. So as I said, this plugin installed, installs itself under the appearance widgets. Let's go to the widgets screen. Under appearance. And now you should have a brand new item social media widget. I'm going to put it into my content sidebar, wherever you'd like. And now this plugin is very cool, very in-depth, very in-depth. After you drag social media widget in, it says, note, make sure you include the full URL. So if you've got a Twitter address, you need to put the full Twitter address. I'll show you how in a moment. We'll go back to general settings in a bit. So this is what will appear on screen. Follow us. You could say social or whatever you want. That's the text that will appear above the widget. Widget text, I'll get back to that. When you hover your mouse over any of these icons, something's going to pop up. This follow us on, and it'll automatically say Twitter. Or if you wanted to say, check us out on, then write that there, and then it'll say, check us out on Pinterest. What's the size? We have a few built-in sizes. Customization needs a little bit more work, but you can add larger icons. You have a couple of different icon styles. We'll see the difference in a moment. We'll use the default animation fade in. Again, we'll play with these in a bit. If you hover over, they'll fade in. If you hover over, they'll kind of grow a little bit, scale. If you hover over, they'll bounce for a moment, etc. How does it fade? If you select it, fade, etc. Uh, use rel no follow on, leave that default, open a new tab, yes, leave that default. That is, if someone clicks on your Twitter, open in a new page so that it doesn't overwrite your existing page. Uh, left alignment, right alignment, center, makes sense. Icons per row. Uh, how many icons per row? When you get more icons, you'll get more options. And then here's the part where now you kind of have to hunt around a little bit. I want to add Facebook, I want to add Twitter, and I want to add YouTube. So they've got them set up here in these different categories. So if I look under social networking, okay, here's where I put my Facebook address, my Google address, my Twitter address, my MySpace, and a bunch of other ones you've never heard of. And it does ask for the whole address. 
So Facebook, www.facebook.com slash the name of your Facebook address. If you don't know it, then don't put it in. But if you know it, put it in. Let's say I've got Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. YouTube. Hmm, I don't see YouTube under social networking. Where else could it be? Maybe Music images and video? Music and audio, maybe. Let me look under images and video. Flickr, Picasa, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. There it is. So you might have to hunt around a little bit. Um, there's Instagram, Pinterest, etc. Portfolio, scheduling, music and audio, Pandora, iTunes, etc. Business and sharing, Yelp. That's where you're going to find Yelp. If you've got a Yelp location, it's under business reviewing and sharing. There's your Etsy too. And eBay. You can do a custom service but it's a little more advanced. Uh, you have to read the documentation, how to actually add that. And if you want to add your own custom graphics, that's more advanced. You need to do that. Whatever changes you, you make here, you have to remember, in this case, to click Save. If you go back to Visit Site, there it is. Follow us. There's the animation, little fade animation, pretty subtle. I want YouTube first, and then Facebook, then Twitter. It shows you here, icons per row, first, second, third. Well, you can click and drag. Notice you put your mouse over the icon. You can drag it. What was that? Click and drag. From where? From the icon right here. When you scroll up, you'll see your icons uh, and then you can drag them into the order that you want them to appear. If you change any of that, remember to save and then visit site. And I have a YouTube first. I'm sorry, I, I got lost on, on just that last step. We, we were looking at that whole list, mm -hmm. social networking and all of that, but I don't see where the icons are. That you have to click save first. And then they'll appear. The yeah, icons right there. So I must have missed a prior step. They'd follow us on and make you all that. And then the Facebook URL, etc. But, but I don't have a Facebook URL. Then you'll have to go back down to save. Did you add any addresses there? If you haven't added any addresses, you're going to like this issue. So you have to add some addresses and then you can save it, and then you'll be able to arrange your icons. So, this is the social media widget that I like. It's pretty straightforward. You add, it, you add the addresses for your different networks. And then you save it, and then it works. There's other ones, too. There's that Accurax plugin, which I've used, which works pretty well, and it's been updated more recently, so it probably has more features. But this one is pretty full-featured. Uh, so notice when you hover over any of these, it'll say, follow us on YouTube. So any change that you make, 
you need to remember to save and then you can see your results and when it asks you type in some widget text that's the text that appears above it if you want some sort of text there which is right here This text that appears here appears above your, your, your widget icons if you need it for some reason. What we're looking at actually is the general section. And then all the networks down here. And there's plenty of other plugins you can be researching um, for a variety of, of concepts, slideshows, and chat, live chat features, e-commerce, plugins, etc. But that's the one I want to introduce at this point. And we're going to wrap up the lecture soon. But uh, any general questions on adding a plugin, and specifically the social media plugin? You have to go back in and remove the address. So you blank out an address and then click Save, and then that should remove it from visit site. I believe so. That allows them to click on that. Yes. So if you have a valid YouTube, uh, iTunes um, uh, audio file or video, uh, yes, you put in that particular link and it'll take you there. So it could be either to your particular profile with a list of all of your content or one particular lecture. That's the social media widget, one of the ones I recommend. And so plugins are a way to expand the capabilities of your WordPress. They're very powerful. Many of them are free, but some of them uh, work on the freemium model in that they give you a product that works 95% for what you need. And then that last 5%, you pay some amount of money, depending on the plugin. Some it's $5, some it's $40, some it's 99 cents. Depends on the plugin. This particular one, uh, I think down here they say something about at the very end Are you looking for custom development, SEO, or online marketing services? Click here to learn more and contact us today. So they're giving away this, this free little plugin, but maybe their main day job is to make websites. So if you like the plugin and you click there and you check them out and you say, I want to hire them to make a to make my website. So perhaps that's how they make their money. There's a whole world of of plugins. That's why now with version 4.0 of WordPress, they've tried to make this sort of uh, marketplace a little bit more friendly with featured popular favorites and such.